hi everyone in today's video i will explain to you how you can use uh, the recall function of the calculator or the rcl tab that you see here it stands for the recall function and let me show you how you can use it to your advantage so i will take up a couple of different examples one which is a very simple example here and the other one which will be a bit more complicated uh, for uh, us so here we have a very simple example where you have 18 minus 14 plus 2 and divided by 2 where if i do it manually of course it's a very simple one so it will be 18 minus 14 plus 2 becomes 16 divided by 2 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 so how can i use the recall function for a simple uh, problem like this so what i can do is i can basically uh, i'll put the letter a here i'll tell you why so when i use the recall function it will help me so i go back to my calculator here right and what you can do is that what you see in the bracket here 14 plus 2 you can do that first in the calculator so just do 14 plus 2 this gives you the number 16 right so what you can then do is press shift and then press the recall tab all right that means now you have put it in the memory and you give it a letter you denote a letter to it so you can see on top here a b c d e f written so you just give the letter a to it so that means now 16 as a number is stored in your calculator and you can recall it by recalling the letter a let's see how you can do that so now if i come back to the question you have to do 18 minus 16 divided by 2 so all you can do is 18 minus and then you press alpha here and press the a button here this means you have recalled the number 16 so 18 minus 16 should be 2 all right because a is the letter denoting 16 so 18 minus 16 gives you 2 and then as per the question here you can just divide it by 2 and that gives you the answer 1 as you have found here all right similarly now if i take up a more complicated example you have cos 28 multiply by cos 16 we can put it as recall a and this one as recall b but before i do that i will show you how you can clear the um, calculator as well because you can see there are only six letters here a b c d e f uh, letters that you can save the numbers by so now if you think your calculator is getting full and you have to clear the memory otherwise it will always be stored in your memory you all have to do is press shift here and then press the button number nine which has clear written on top of it so just press clear and then it asks you do you want to set up do you want to clear the setup or clear the memory or clear everything so just choose two because you only want to clear the memory not the setup so when you press two it asks you to press the equal to sign to clear memory so you press the equal to sign and now it says press the all clear key to continue so i'll press the all clear key all right now let's take the more complicated example here where you have cos 28 degrees multiplied by cos 16 that you want to denote the letter a to and then you have sine 28 multiplied by sine 16 that you want to denote the letter b all right so you don't have to write it like that but this is just for your understanding so what i will do is press cos 28 degrees right multiplied by cos of 16 degrees and what I get as the answer here is 0.84874. So I can press shift recall and give it the letter A. All right, so I'll give it the letter A here. Now I continue where I have left off. So I'll continue here with the all clear key. And now I will find sine 28 multiplied by sine 16. So what I'll do is press sine 28 degrees and then multiply it with sine 16 degrees press the equal to sign i get this answer now i can press shift recall but now save it as the letter b here also this is saved as letter b now so now if i have to continue with this question here i will find cos 43 and then cos of 43 degrees what is it equal to it's equal to 0 0.73135 whatever it is so then minus all i have to do is just press the recall button so i'll press recall a first so alpha recall a i get 0.117399 and this is exactly what i get through my manual calculation and then i will divide it by recall b which is this number here so i will just divide it alpha and then b and i will get 0.90718 which is the answer here so you can see it makes our lives much simpler when we are involved in multiple applications in a question helps us to uh, solve it quicker 
um, again you have to practice these functions before you can use them in important situations like the exam but uh, helps you to do that so again if you want to clear the memory just press shift here press 9 here remember to clear the memory and not the setup so press 2 here and then press the equal to sign it clears the memory so when you press the all clear key you are again good to start as a fresh application so i hope this video was useful for you guys let me know what you thought about it i look forward to your comments please like share comment subscribe and i will see you soon with my next video bye for now